Hey, it's Alish. And Liza. And today we're going to make moving backgrounds. Woohoo! Because when you're making a video game or a music video or a story, it's sometimes really fun to have a background that changes as the thing goes along. So let's do it. Cool. So let's make a tree go from the right to the left side of the screen. Okay, so let's grab our tree to start with. And then we're going to want to move it across the screen. So let's first tap add a new rule and then we want this to start when the play button is tapped because it's the beginning of the project. So when the play button is tapped and then the first thing is to set the tree on the right side by getting a movement block that's red called set position and dragging it in and this will set the tree on the right side of the screen. Okay so let's set position to all the way on the right which is a thousand because the iPad on the far right is a thousand and on the far left is zero. And then we want it to be most of the way up the screen. So that's like 510. So that'll put your tree right around here. And then we want to move it across the screen as if we were passing by it. So to move left and right, which button do we need? Let's use change x by. So since we want him to go left, let's set it to negative 1000. So it goes all the way left across the screen. Cool. Do you have any ideas about how we can make him move forever doing that? Yeah, I think there's a block called repeat forever, which is blue, and if we drag that out and put these guys in it, then they will be executed repeatedly forever. And make sure that set position is on top because it's going to read it in order, and otherwise it will move and then go over there. Yeah, so let's see what this looks like. Awesome! Cool. Good work. So. This kind of looks like we're passing by trees, right? Yeah, pretty much. I think we could do a little bit more. How about we add more trees? Let's add more trees. So go to edit, and then tap on the plus symbol and drag out another tree. And what if we had wanted to do the same thing as the last tree? What if we could use an ability so we don't have to repeat the same code a That's million a great times? That's great idea. Let's do that. So tap on your original tree. So tap on the rule you've been working on, not a new rule. And then let's see up here my abilities. Let's tap the plus symbol and create a new ability called trees. And then drag that out and tap on the pencil and drag your repeat forever block from the upper left side inside this tree block. And what this means is it will save whatever is inside of it, and any time you use this ability called trees, it will contain this code. So you can use it a bunch of times in a row or on different characters, and it will be the same every time. Right, so this is now what you made earlier. So if you pulled this out, it's there. So cool. So why don't we go to this other tree and add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, all we gotta do is... Add trees. Nice. So let's see what that looks like. And doesn't look any different, does it? Do you know why? There's only one tree. Where did the other one go? It's exactly on top of that first tree because they're doing the same thing at the same time in the same place. Ah! So we need to make a little edit. So what if we hacked it a little bit and we had them leave at different times? So one tree left and then a little while later the other tree left. So it looks like it's happening sort of staggered. We could use the weight block. So let's go down to the blue control flow and drag out the bottom block called weight and let's put it at the top of repeat forever. Let's put it right in repeat forever because it's always waiting a little different Good time. Good call. So right above set position we should wait. And you were saying you thought... So if we had the weight block have just like some number, like 500, they would both wait 500 and They wouldn't and really move. solve our problem. Yeah, they'd still be on top of each other. What we're going to do instead is use this thing called random, which means that the number is going to be different every time. And it's going to be different for the different trees. That way, they'll show up and move across the screen at different times. So let's make this, what do you want to do? Like, between zero and like... 5,000? Okay, cool. So that's between zero and five seconds. Okay, cool. Let's check that out. Okay, so this is a little weird, right? 
I mean, it's like, doesn't really look like it's working, but I think we're actually one step closer. Yeah, I think what would help is if we made the trees become invisible when they weren't going across the screen. Good idea. So, in the very beginning, do we want that tree to be like stuck there in the middle like that? No, let's set him invisible. Whoa, hold on. This thing is called looks and sounds instead of appearance, and that's because we're using a secret special beta version of Hopscotch that's going to be available on an iPad near you soon, so get excited. But until then, we're going to use a set invisibility block green at the very, very beginning. But still inside trees. So we're going to set the tree to be invisible by 100, so he's completely invisible. Yeah, remember that with set invisibility, zero means not invisible, and 100 means fully invisible. So we want him to be very invisible at the beginning, but then to pop up once he's moving. So let's do another set invisibility block right after he sets position. Right, so this means we don't see anything yet, and then it waits until it's ready to be over here, and then once it's over here, it becomes visible by full zero. And then and it's then, gonna move across. Yeah, and then let's set one last one. After it goes across the screen, let's set it to be invisible again. So you don't see it when it's just hanging out on the left side. And this means that when it's waiting, it's not waiting like visible. Yeah. Cool. Let's check that out. Alright. Two nice. trees! Awesome. It's kind of fun, you don't know that's gonna pop up. Yeah, and what's great about this also is that much like nature, they're randomly separated from one another. Okay, cool. So that's cool, but it still looks a little weird to be like trees moving in a white background. Like, is this the matrix? Or so why don't we make a background? I know how to make a background. Okay. Let's get a uh, frog because he's wearing this little hat and he looks like a painter. Okay. And let's get him to draw a blue sky. Okay. So we're gonna add a new rule when the play button is tapped, and then we draw a background in our drawing menu with the purple leave a trail block. So drag out the leave a trail block and then choose the light blue since it's a beautiful sunny day. And then we're gonna make a background by making one really big gigantic dot. Yeah. And so any width bigger than 3000 is going to be covering the entirety of the screen. And so you could move forward 300, but if you only move forward once, the size of that dot alone would cover the screen. Cool. What else should we add? Let's add a sun. Okay. So let's add the sun like kind of below the middle of the screen. And so that, to put something somewhere, we set position. And let's set it so if it's in the middle to be like X500. Okay. And then Y, let's do like kind of lower screen, so like 250. Okay. Good idea. And now... Much like that blue sky, we're going to make a dot, but it's not going to be huge. It's only going to be, first let's make it yellow, and then let's make the width like... Three, like 300. 300, okay, cool. And because it's a dot, we only move one. So now let's make the grass. Okay, so why don't we start him then where the grass starts? So let's do a red set position block again under the last move leave a trail block. So we're going to start the frog building our grass in the bottom left corner of our screen, which is around x equals zero and y is like 150. And then he's going to move forward leaving a trail to make the grass. And in this case we want the grass to be green, obviously, it's healthy grass. And we want it to be a little bit tall and all the way across the screen. So let's set it to 300 because he hasn't mowed it recently. And then let's move forward the length of the iPad or... Plus a little more. A little more? So like 1,200? Okay. So if you'd only done 1,000, it might be a little curved at the end. He's but... not falling off the edge of the world. Oh, you know what? Let's make a few changes though. Okay, why don't we make him move a little faster because it all happens kind of slowly. Okay. So we can use set speed and put at the very top above the first leave a trail block and the natural speed of frog or any other hopscotch character is 400. Right. So let's set it to a lot of nines, like nine bajillion, so he goes really quickly. Super quickly. And let's make him invisible so that we don't see what's making the background, we just see the background. Sorry, frog. Set invisibility to 100. You are the man behind the scenes. That's an important job, by the way. 
Nice. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so this looks cool, but I have one other idea that's going to give this a whole other oh, dimension. Yeah? yeah. And it's going to be the background trees. Cool. So we're going to make trees in the background, and they're going to be smaller, right? And slower. And slower. So pull out a tree and add a new rule when the play button is tapped. So now let's add a new ability. Oh, it's kind of like trees, except we're going to want to make them slower and smaller. Right. So let's call them background trees. Drag that out and open it up by tapping on that little button next to the title. So we want to do basically the same thing we already did, which was start at the right, uh -huh. move left, start at the right forever and ever, and then be invisible all the time except when you're moving across the screen. Why don't you pause here and see if you remember how to do that and set up the code for this guy to start at the right, move left, and be invisible all the time when he's not moving. Okay, let's see if you got it. Okay, so it's pretty much the same as those foreground trees. We repeat forever, and what we're repeating forever is that we're starting over here. At the right. So that's set position. But it's a little different now. It's going to be x's of 1,000, which is on the very right end. But we're going to make y a little higher than before because these are smaller trees. So let's make it 425. Cool. And then we're going to change x, which means move left, all the way across the screen. So that's negative 1,000. And then if you remember, we want to be invisible all the time except when we're moving. So we're going to add three set invisibility blocks. Cool. The first one goes at the very beginning. Cool. So above the repeat forever. Okay. And set invisibility to 100, so he's gone. And then we're going to add another set invisibility right before he goes left so that he's visible again. So set invisibility to zero. And then we add the last one after he's crossed the screen is on the far left and set invisibility back to 100 so he's invisible. Cool. Okay, so if we want a lot of trees to do this background thing, we're going to have to do that thing we did last time about waiting randomly, right? Oh, good idea. So the wait button is blue. It's control flow. Drag, drag that out so it's under the repeat forever block but over the set position. And because these are slower... Let's have them set a random wait time from zero to like a little bit longer than the last time which was 5,000 milliseconds so let's do 6,000 this time since so they come out a little bit slowly each time. Cool and um, the most important part is because this is the background these trees are gonna be smaller right? Mm -hmm. So let's set size which is a new block. I haven't used that one before what does it do? So when you grow or shrink you're making it some percent bigger or smaller than it was before. But set size is always relative to the universal size of the object. Oh, nice. So in this case, we want them to be smaller. So if their initial size is 100, they're 100% 100 their regular size, let's set it to 50 so they're half as big. Cool. Okay. So set size to 50. And then we also want to change the speed, right, if it's in the background. So let's set speed to, well, their natural speed of frog or any other hopscotch character, this tree, is 400. Mm -hmm. So let's set it to like 200 so that it moves slower. And make sure your set speed is under set size but above repeat forever. Otherwise, it's going to increment, increasingly go faster and faster and faster. Okay, so this should be just about everything, right? Okay, so check your code and make sure it lines up with ours. And if you did it on your own, high five. If you did it with us, high five too. And now, before even checking it out, why don't we give another tree this code? Add new rule. Background trees. Let's see what happens. Check it out. Oops. Whoa, it's kind of crazy with that... The small tree is in front of Yeah, we, we missed one the block, big tree. Right? We should probably send it to the back so it's really far away. Good idea. Do you know how to send it to the back? Yeah, let's use the send to back law and send it to the back. And let's do that just at the beginning right after it's invisible. Cool. Whoa. Cool. Kind of looks like we're on a train driving by the forest or on a safari. 
And now you can add like many more trees and it'll look like a whole forest and you'll see that the ones in back move slower and are smaller. Or you can make a game where like, you know, Gorilla is trying to roll and get the bananas and this is the moving background behind it. Or if you have those like buildings, you know, the emotion buildings. You could be driving buildings. through a city. Yeah. You could do anything you want now. You can travel the world in Hopscotch. Have fun.